Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the mobile app again and some people have been struggling in creating and moving files in the Teams app uh, because you can't do it. So we're going to show you two ways of getting around that to be able to create a file, uh, create a folder and move things around by the end of this video. I'm Gavin Jones, I'm Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company and all the tips that we do on YouTube have either come out real life examples or from comments on YouTube from other videos, of which this is one. So feel free to comment and uh, let us know if you've got any questions and we might just make a video about it to help you out. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already to get notified about every time I release a new video. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below. We've got a training deck that we use to train people in our organization, which might help you out as well. If not, it's got all the basic tips written down in one place and it goes along with our basic training tutorials on YouTube. So let's get in and have a look at the mobile app and how we can move and create new files. Okay, so let's just go and open the Teams app on our mobile so I can show you what we're talking about and the limitations of using the mobile app. Uh, in regards to files and folders. So we're in the testing channel of the Recap Core project team, and we've got some files and folders that we can see in there. So let's go into version history test. If we look at the three dots, you can see we don't have many options. We can either send a copy, open in the Excel app, or open in Teams. Um, so there's no move option there. If we hit the version history test, that'll open um, a little view of it which is using the iOS sort of view of Excel, which might not be amazing. Um, if we hit the uh, pencil sort of icon, that'll flick us out into the Office app, which is now a new app that combines Word, Excel, and PowerPoint into one app, so you don't need to have all three apps separately. Um, and that'll join us out into there, and if we'd signed into this app, we could make edits and things in there, and that would save back into the team automatically for us. So that's how to edit it. If we wanted to flick back into Teams and create a new file straight in Teams, we can't do that there. And if we wanted to move that version history into a folder, uh, we can't do that either in the Teams app. If we jump back into the Office app, and as long as we're signed in, which we've just done, um, then you can create a new document from there. So now you've got the ability to uh, scan some documents in through Lens. Uh, if you've got a, a, a printout of an Excel sheet, you can even scan that straight into Excel and it'll use some, you know, convert that into normal uh, Excel document. And you create a, say, a blank workbook here in the Office app. And if we wanted to save that, we can then go and pick Sites and find the team that we are in and save that straight into the Recap Core project team and click save and that's how we create a new document although well, you can't do that from the Teams app you need the, either the Office app or the separate Excel, Word, PowerPoint apps and all of them you will be able to save into any SharePoint site that you're a member of and if you're a member of a team, remember that there's a SharePoint site that backs that team. So that's why it's called Sites and not Teams when you have to go through and uh, find where it is. So that's how to create a new document on mobile and have it saved into the team. If you want to move some documents around uh, or create folders, then doing this way still doesn't help us. So there's two other ways we can do that. If we go into the SharePoint app, so you've got News, Find and Me at the bottom of your window. Uh, news is going to collate news from any SharePoint site you're a member of, so it's really handy to have the SharePoint app if you're using News to uh, communicate to your employees. You also get push notifications about News as well, FYI, so really handy. If you go into Find, then you can see which frequent sites you're, you're visiting, um, and obviously the site is the team as well so we're going to click into the recap core project team then by default it's going to open like the web view of the team so you can see the home page that you've set up and if you want to know more about that we've got another video on how to use sharepoint news and teams together 
but basically that's showing you if you'd gone into that site on the web uh, which has got all the web parts and everything that you've set up to make your homepage your homepage. Um, if you click those three little lines, that, then you can get access to anything that you can do in SharePoint, such as files. So for them, if we click files, oh, my thumb's not working right now, um, you can go into documents and then you'll start to see something you're familiar with, which is all the channel files and folders that you're familiar with. And if you hit the plus at the top, then you can create a folder there and then you can create the folder in SharePoint app and then go into the Office app or the Excel or whatever app and then go and save it into that folder. So we can do sort of new mobile test folder, hit done and that's saved in there. And if we jumped back into the Office app and picked recap project team and then documents, then we'd see that folder that we've just set up uh, in theory, if it's going to work, let's see. Yeah, new mobile test folder. We could then save our document or create a new one um, straight into that folder we just set up. So there's one other way, which is probably the best way for managing folders and files uh, throughout Office 365, which is to go to your OneDrive app, which you might not think about because I guess when you think about OneDrive, you think about your own personal files which uh, is the case. Uh, it does get quite confusing to explain, but then Microsoft use OneDrive app to then also look across all of the other files and folders that you're, you've got access to, no matter where they are saved, which includes Teams files. So in the files bit, that's gonna be all of your personal files in your OneDrive, which no one's got access to unless you choose to share them. If you go into libraries, that's gonna be the document libraries of any SharePoint site you're a member of, including the team, because the team is backed by a SharePoint site with a document library in. So that's where you can see the Recap Core Project team popping up. And if we click on that, you can see it's slightly quicker than using the SharePoint site, uh, SharePoint app. If we go into uh, any of these now and hit the three dots, then we've also got some other options like make available offline and um, being able to store that on your iOS device whilst you haven't got a signal. If we went into uh, testing, then you'll see that version history test, we still can't move it. So there's no move option, but obviously you could open it in the Office app and then save a version into somewhere else. Uh, and that's how you would get around moving it. So let's try that then. So if we open it, if we click edit rather, it should jump us out into the Office app. And then if we hit the three dots and save a copy, uh, we'll keep it as that. We'll save it back into the Recap Project team, uh, into Documents, into our channel, which is Testing, and into New Mobile Test. And we'll say, save it there. And then just to finish all of that off then, if we went back into Teams, just to show you that I'm not going completely crazy, then everything we've just done, although we might need to go out and back in, in the Files tab, then we get New Mobile Test folder and our version history test copy is available in there. And you can still get access to it from the Teams app. And obviously anyone that's using the desktop or web app can see that as well. So hope that was helpful. Remember to give the video a like if you liked it. Um, let us know any questions or comments. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday and click the free download link in the description below to get access to our training deck that goes along with our basic training tutorial videos that are on YouTube. And then lastly, if you want help running better meetings, then check out metimeapps.com or search for MeTime on the iOS app store to get our meeting timer app that prompts you to run better meetings and save time for everyone that's in your meeting as well. So thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.